Hi, everyone, and welcome to Flip the Script Season 1, Episode 9, with the longest title of all time, the traditional view of ICP, why it prevents your SDRs from booking more meetings, and what you can do instead. My name is Beck Holland. I'm the CEO and founder of Flip the Script. Before we jump into the content, I wanted to clear up one very important thing. ICP, regardless of what Google may say, does not stand for insane clown posse. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, let's barter. In the context of today's session, it does not stand for insane clown posse. So let's go ahead and jump into the content. Okay, that one was fair. So let's go ahead and start to digest that title. So this is what happens typically to SDRs. <laughs> Guy looks so sad. Traditionally, marketing or lead scoring model tells you several things about what is valuable as a lead. So typically a marketing team will say a good lead is, for, is a lead that's really high quality is someone who's from a great company who hits ICP. Again, ICP is defined as, as ideal customer profile. All I could think was insane clown posse. I'm gonna keep going. Do not cut this out. Do not, we are not starting over. So the first thing is, is a lead from a good company who hits ICP. The second thing a marketing team sees as a great lead is someone who's downloaded a lot of content. And the third thing they typically uh, call a high value ICP or a high value lead or MQL is a lead who has downloaded a lot of relevant content. So these are great metrics in theory and I get the theory behind it. But what happens is the result is hypothetically, if an intern from Oracle downloaded a lot of content and downloaded really relevant content, then it would surface to your marketing team and then to your SDR team that an intern from Oracle is a really high value lead. One of the most important things in selling is who you're talking to in terms of buyer persona, in terms of role and hierarchy up the chain. So every seller on the planet, one of the things they care about the most, if you talk about band criterion or any kind of sell, uh, selling metric, is they would say you need to start with a decision maker. So what happens with this kind of model is basically someone who, regardless of their title, if they're downloading the right content and a lot of content, their, their surface is a high value lead. When you're selling into someone, actually one of the things that matters the most arguably is title and that is not incorporated in this model. So you get your poor, sad, angry SDR who's sitting in their computer and having to call on someone who is at a Gmail address or who maybe has an Oracle address but you know, just started as an intern is busy getting coffee. Not that that's a bad job. Here's a model of how you can rework it. What makes the most sense to your SDRs or what makes a really high value lead to your SDRs or self-prospecting account executives are typically three things. Number one, is this a lead from a great company? So a great company I would term as, it can be a myriad of different things and we'll go into that in your next slide, but I've termed this as someone who hits ICC and that stands for ideal customer company. And we can go into the criterion in the next slide, but basically this is someone who hits ICC is the first thing is, is this a good company? The second question that your SDR has is, is this a good title that fits me? So a lead who has a good title that hits ICT. So for conversation's sake, let's recoin it to where ICT and ICP is broken down into two different sections. Ideal customer profile has two categories. Is this an ideal customer company with an ICC? And this is, is this an ideal customer title with an ICT? Now the third thing that matters to your SDR is, is there high buyer intent? So basically, is this person already in market? Is this someone who's already searching for your software or searching for your product or service? Because that makes it a lot easier on someone who's prospecting into this person to set a meeting if the person's already in market. So if I, for instance, want to go on a vacation to Tahiti and some rep calls into me and says, hey, we're selling you know, vacations to Tahiti for really, really cheaply, you know, that's kind of the right place at the right time. So if you can find those high buyer intent leads, which there's a myriad of different services of which you can use that, you know, G2 is a great example, or there are several dark funnel providers like Six Sense and Bombora. But basically if there's high buyer intent, that also makes it great, uh, great for your SDR because they wanna know, is this the right company? Is this the right title that we sell into? And do they have high buyer intent? So it's a lot easier on them uh, to get a yes from their prospect. So here's the diagram, very, very technical, but it is basically your happy SDR. 
So the three terms that I want to reset, typically when I'm working with a marketing team and helping, and marketing is a great department. I wouldn't be anywhere without it. So I don't want to uh, come across as I am saying that they are certainly a bad team. Um, I've answered into most of them at most of the companies that I've worked at. But how I've enabled my marketing team to understand like, hey, how many leads are actually coming through that we can call into? Um, is the following process. I've redefined, again, ICP to mean two things. Does this person hit ICC, meaning ideal customer company? Are they at an organization that we want to sell into? And I base that on firmographic criterion that matters to your sellers. So a great example, as I was formerly at Chorus, you know, things, several things that matter to us about a company are, is this the right company size? Is this a, have over a hundred people? Is this the right company industry? You know, the best ideal case scenario is it's B2B SaaS. And then do they have the right tech stack? Do they have, you know, some kind of dialer or like outreach, or do they have some kind of web conferencing software like Zoom? Because that's who made a really lucrative lead to us. So if they have that criterion and we haven't sold into them before, and we aren't currently selling into them, that is a great definition of like, okay, this is a company that I really want to work with. So this lead is has passed box one, that they are a great company that I wanna work with. The second bucket that I would redefine is ICT. So again, that's gonna be ideal customer title. Who is the type of person that I like to sell into? So for all of you who are sitting out there and saying the type of person who has money, let's just go ahead and redefine the term. So ideal customer title can be based off of two different things. Whether that's the right person in terms of hierarchy and whether that's the right person in terms of buyer persona. Both are really, really valid. So I would gave a couple of examples here, but basically within hierarchy, you have several different le uh, levels. So typically it goes, you know, within selling at least, you know, junior SDR, senior SDR, ISR, junior AE, senior AE, you know, manager, uh, director, or manager, senior manager, director, senior manager, you know, VP, RVP, AVP, head of, and then CXO is usually like how you uh, scale up. I mean, you even have senior vice president, executive vice president, I'll stop boring everyone to death. But basically there's a level of hierarchy that matters of like within this respective function, are they at the right level? And then also the other question is, are they within the right discipline? So if I sell into sales and someone from marketing downloads the content, it doesn't hit my ICT, right? Because it's in a different department. Also, if someone from sales who's an individual contributor calls into me, well, I'm really looking for a minimum bar of they run a team so that at least they're a team lead. Um, so that would be someone, if it's manager level and above and it's within the sales discipline, then this person just hit ideal customer title. Um, here's a couple of terms for people to know, high, medium, and low, and acceptable. These are the letters that I'm gonna use in the following slide. But basically combining all these three things and knowing that my SDRs and self-prospecting AEs care about these things. I, it, does this person hit the ideal customer company? Does this person hit the ideal customer title? And is this someone with high buyer intent or the things that matter? This is a model that you can set up for your SDRs or self-prospecting AEs in terms of sequences where you can sequence to them the most lucrative people to them for every sequence that you run. So let's take content downloads, for instance. Let's say I have, you know, for argument's sake, I am a mid-market company and I have a thousand content downloads per month and they are being round robin to my outbound SDRs. So for the be beginners who want to kind of put their toe in the water, a good way to do this is say, I'm gonna build four different content download sequences and they're gonna be ranked the following. The first and most prominent for my SDRs are going to be people who hit high ICT and high ICC. So out of the two variables, I typically uh, value uh, title before I value, like I would rather sell into a vice president at a mid-market company you know, than a manager at enterprise. So I would, or it's a little bit easier, faster deal cycle, et cetera. So I prioritize title over, you know, selling a little bit up market um, in this case scenario. So in terms of beginners, if let's take content downloads, for instance, you would have four different sequences. You would say, okay, I'm gonna put an acceptable bar here of what's acceptable in terms of title and what's acceptable in terms of company. So let's say for argument's sake, my acceptability means this company needs to be over 100 people and have the right tech stack. 
you know, they need to have outreach or some kind of dialer and web conferencing software, and they need to be within the SaaS industry. That is what's acceptable for me in terms of company. And then um, for title, it needs to be anyone within sales enablement, sales, sales operations, or SDR, or revenue. And it has to be a manager level and above. That is the minimum bar of who I'm willing to sell into. So for beginners, if you just want to put your toe in the, a toe in the water with content downloads, for instance, you could build a sequence that would be number one, high ICT, high ICC. Number two, high ICT, acceptable ICC. They still hit the uh, minimum bar of company we're willing to sell into, but they're a really great title. Number three, acceptable ICT. They're a manager within the sales department, but they're not great. You know, it's not a vice president or a CXO, but this is a really good company. So first case scenario would be a VP, VP of sales at Oracle. Second case scenario, it would be a um, VP of sales at a mid-market company. You know, third case, uh, case scenario, it would be a manager at Oracle. And then last case scenario would be a manager at a mid-market company or SMB company, wherever your bar was. So you would do build all four of these sequences for content downloads in specific. I would uh, argue that both of these models it work specifically well if you're running a high team of scale. So let's take Cloudflare, for instance. They have 100 BDRs somewhere in that realm. So this would be a really, really good instance of where they need to systematize and they need to divide and conquer and give swim lanes for everyone and take off most of the brunt of list building. So typically, you're not going to do something like this, full disclosure. Maybe it's late in the video to be admitting this. But if you're an SMB company and you only have a team of three or four, like this is a lot of work to do that. But if you're a mid-market company, you know, or you're an enterprise company, this works really, really well. Or you're someone like me who's just a junkie for systemizing things so that it makes it cleaner, faster, and easier to deploy, then you can go ahead and go with this side too. The second model, let's say you've done the beginner model. And for content downloads, you said, all right, Beck, these were actually worked really well for me. It helped my SDRs call on the important people at the important companies important people at the uh, great companies, you know, but not really high value, great, uh, acceptable title at I, a high ICC and then acceptable for both. But I want to get a little bit more aggressive. I want to put the gas on and I want to take this relationship to the next level. Well, option number two is for you. So for experts, if you don't want to just stick with acceptable, you can rank title and ICC, uh, meaning company, in terms of high, medium, and low. So let's take title, for instance, within the respective discipline that I was just saying of like, let's say this person is this, uh, in uh, the discipline of sales, a manager would be a low title, but still acceptable. A director would be a medium title. And then a high title would be anyone VP and above. For ICC, for company, let's say low is, you know, a minimum bar of 100 people to 300 for SMB, you know, is a low, is a low ICC. 300 to 1,000 is a medium ICC, and 1,000 plus is gonna be a high ICC. So I would deploy the following infrastructure, especially for enterprise teams. This will be really helpful in terms of structure and taking that automation and list building, which is 75% of the battle for our SDRs off of their back. You control the win, you control the sequence, you control the structure, you control you know, everything that basically takes the brunt of the list building off of your SDRs, but they control the message and they control the creativity and they control the empowerment of getting someone on the line. So you could deploy, deploy in the following method. Again, I value title a little bit more than I value company size in a lot of cases. So I would deploy them in the following manner. High ICT, IC, high ICC, high ICT, medium, IC, medium ICC, medium ICT, high ICC, medium and medium for both, high ICT, low ICC, low ICT, high ICC, medium ICT, low ICC, low ICT, medium ICC, and finally, you guess it, I'm starting to feel like Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory, low ICT and low ICC. So that's it, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more sessions like this on Insane Clown Posse, mm -hmm. go to flipthescript.co so you can check out some more videos. And if you really like the session, be sure to go to Flip the Script on LinkedIn and give us a follow. But either way, hope you're having a great rest of your day. Of course he has to have the last word. Watch out.